We are on the verge, Mia BBs. We are on the verge of another altcoin melt up right now as we speak. Looking on the right of the screen, we got PNG up 43%. Nasana at $4.62 up 18%. Flare putting on the fire today almost at four cents. XAI going up. Pepe now showing some light. Songbird, Stronghold, Beam. We're gonna be diving into it today. If you're new here, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment. We're gonna cover the crypto market where it's at now on this Friday, February 23rd, 6.45 a.m. and see if Friday is going to be a payday or a sad day. So let's dive into it. We're going to dive into the market drivers because right now we're on the verge of a lot of things. And we have right now the dollar kind of teetering on the edge right now. Looking at the 12 hour chart here, you can see that one of the things I like to look for on the 12 hour chart is the TSI crossing down below the zero line. As you can see, when we cross down below the zero line back here in October, and we kind of teetered a little bit, but when we really melt down, melted down at the beginning of November, what happened at the beginning of November last year? We saw a crypto melt up. So right now we could be maybe in like this phase of like October, early October, but still like we melted up in October as well too when the dollar was teetering, because if we look back to Bitcoin in October, let's see, it was over here. So the start of it was in October. So we could be at another moment, and I'm not necessarily saying that Bitcoin is gonna go crazy. I think Bitcoin right now is kinda just going sideways. It's really tricking a lot of people out. It looks like it's gonna tank, and then it doesn't, and then it goes up. But right now, as far as Bitcoin goes, just to cover it, we are at the micro 786. So as you can see here, we had this low to the high. We tapped that micro 786, which so happened to be the top of the EMA ribbon. And right now we're seeing a bounce. But we do, you know, a little bit that's a, something that's a little bit shaky is we have this blue coming up, the pink coming down, the stock RSI down here, the TSI cross down, and the MACD beat red. As long as we can maintain above this orange 50 line in the RSI, and as long as we can not cross below that zero line. I mean, we, by the time that we get to down there, we'd already be dumping. So I would say we want to go to lower time frames in the 12 hour for Bitcoin. We, we might want to go down to a six hour to be able to gauge it sooner. And right now we do have the blue above the pink, but I would say as long as the blue can get rejected here, come down, pink come up, then we'll be, we'll be good. I'd like to say as well too, that today's going to be a critical day because looking at the six hour chart, we have that TSI right here at the same point it was at at the beginning of February where we found our melt up from back here at 42K all the way up. And being that we're right at that same level and much higher tells a lot, tells a lot, tells a story right now. So it looks like Bitcoin might maintain stable here, just ping pong back and forth above that concrete ceiling that we've been covering for months now above this 50k macro 786 and this purple moving average here just kind of ping pong back and forth go sideways and that will be a beautiful opportunity for altcoins to really kind of lead the way and put on crazy gains like they are today as you can see on the right side of the screen here so let's now go back to the dollar because it's on the verge right now 12 hour chart zero line tsi crossing down as well as we are struggling to get above this 50 and 200 moving average doing a golden cross right now but we're below it so as long as we get rejected like that we could be playing out something like this which would be a dump down in the dollar until late march april really like late march then we go sideways with the dollar and then we pop up going into the halving kind of tells a story right there and then we probably dump when the halving happens to sell the news event just like the etf so that's what I'm watching as far as the dollar goes in the 12 hour chart. If we look at this key chart, which is the USDT plus USDC against the total crypto market cap, this is what's gonna tell us if the market's gonna pump or dump. And right now we're sitting at a critical trend line since 2022. If we melt down through this trend line, we're gonna have an absolute mania melt up across the board for altcoins, absolutely. And because that's such a key trend line going back years, and breaking down through that, and usually you do kind of for the last like go, like even this small one, you have a trend line you break down through. It looks like we might break down through, test this macro 786 and then might bounce. That's what I'm seeing as far as right now with the market data that we got, but 
obviously the markets change every single hour it seems like so that's why in the discord link is in the bio market updates channel i keep people updated in real time as the market moves every day so going back to that though this is what's going to tell the story i'm on a 12 hour chart but we if you're day trading you can go down to a lower time frame but right now i'm going to stick to the macro here because it looks like that's going to be our zone that we're going to come down to since we broke this micro 786 so you break a micro 786 you target the 2618 which so happens to coincide and overlap with the macro 786 here it's telling the story and looking at the 12 hour chart i'm sorry a three day chart we are crossed down with that momentum you know so this could very well much happen but if we break back above this micro 786 watch out because the dump could be in order so I'll be keeping people updated on that in the Discord. Then looking at the 12 hour chart for Bitcoin dominance, we do have a prepare to buy soon. We had a sell, no buy now yet. We still, Bitcoin dominance still in a downtrend. Looking at the one day chart, we do have a sell now signal that came in, but we do have that 50 day moving average as support. I'd like to see us melt down through that. If that's gonna happen, likely we'll come to that 200 moving average and likely at that point, we'll melt down through that and retest this kind of trend line coming down and all coins will have a nice rally off of that. Then looking at others' dominance, we're holding above the belly of the beast right now. Multiple touch points of support, support, and we kind of got close to it a few yesterday or two days ago. And right now we broke back above that 1618 breakout extension in 786 on the micro. And it looks like we may be trying to reclaim on the 12 hour chart the 50 day and 200 uh, 50 and 200 moving average. But looking at the momentum, we do have that stock RSI coming up, MACD flipping to lighter red, and the TSI right below that zero line looking like it wants to cross up. So more kind of insight that all coins may be ready for a boom here. Looking at the one day chart, TSI is cross up, looks like it's gonna cross down. If we can see that come up on the one day chart above that zero line, it's game on. Looking at the total three all coin market cap, we do have a short term trend line coming down like this. It looks like on the one hour chart, we are trying to cross up to give that momentum to push. And that's gonna be so key because looking at a bigger time frame, like a three day chart, you know, we have the momentum coming up here, but we need more. We can't stall out here. I wanna see a bigger push and it will come from those lower time frames. So three day chart looking fine right now. One day chart is crossing down, and that's why it's so crucial that we hold this $530 billion level for the total three. A lot of wicks there holding right on top of the previous high. We might have a nice bounce on out of here to test this 1618 extension and it could happen before month's end so it's looking pretty solid right now as long as we maintain above there and bitcoin if it maintains above and bounces up then it's setting us up for a good environment for all coins to do that so i'm looking on the 12 hour chart momentum is dying off but if we look at the six hour chart as long as we can get a cross up that will spill into the 12 hours spill into the daily spill into the three day you know what i mean so then let's go to others market cap same kind of story here broke above that previous all-time high testing it a lot of support same kind of story with that bitcoin we kind of went into it a little bit uh, on the higher time frames but looking in into it on a lower time frame since the lower time frames are going to tell us what's going to spill into the higher time frames we do have on the one hour chart right now this kind of trend line coming down like that i'd like to see us break above there which we're starting to look like we're gonna on the one hour chart i do want to see that pink it above the blue if we go to the 30 minute which is the anchor for bitcoin in my opinion we are like right at that crossing up stage so it's looking pretty nice i do want to see bitcoin get above 52k because the altcoins like when it's above 52k especially and we do have a lot of resistance there and that so happens to coincide with that purple moving average and that's like the top of our range so if we can get above hold as support and break past these highs all coins i feel like are gonna fly fly and we might come up to like 55 to 58k and then that's when i'm getting cautious looking at filecoin filecoin smoothly above eight bucks holding steady i'm plotting a big trade on that i'll be in greece city the day trade dogs in there and the premium channel for the vip members plotting that out also i'm going to cover stronghold and but also flare flare firing up but let me go into stronghold because i know you guys want to hear about that and then i'll go into xrp to finish it off so stronghold right now it broke above that hot zone i covered it in the 2024 price predictions video broke above the hot zone was trying to hold it as support broke back down but if we can pop right back up through it at 0 0.0101 then we'll come back to retest 0 0.012, but then we could be ready to come test that or, or go up to that extension target of two and a half cents, which 
is the 1618 extension of the macro trend as well as the 4236 extension. And if we're looking at the past kind of fractal here, if I drop this down and kind of hide everything else, you know, we could be at this stage right here before another big pump. If I drag it like this and then kind of stretch it out a little bit like that, and that brings us right to that two and a half cent. So that's what I'm watching as far as stronghold goes. I could definitely see that being the case, and it would probably start to happen as of today going into the end of this month. We could see by the end of this month a two and a half cent stronghold. So then to finish it off with XRP, we have, you know, we're, we're still, it's, you know, tick, tick, tick. It's almost here. I mean, imminent to max by the end of March, we're gonna see an explosion for XRP. First target's gonna be into the 70 cent range, but I think we're gonna go up to $1.30. And at that point, that's gonna be the key decision maker as far as all time high or rejection back down to retest like 70 cents and then try later. But as you can see, we're nearing the end of this and this ends in the middle of March, middle of March. So I hope you guys are getting prepared because the explosion will be televised. Let's just say that we're getting super close, super, super close. And I'll be keeping people updated in the discord when I believe that it's time and I'll be swapping a whole lot of other coins into XRP XLM at that moment. Because the reason why I get into mostly all these other coins is to accumulate more XRP and XL. So that's going to be it, guys. I'll be in the Discord. Link's in the bio. Come join it. I'll see you guys in there and in the next video.